All right, you're welcome back, and this is still TV3 New Day. And this morning, we're asking a question on the back of what transpired yesterday when we were told that the OSP, that's the Office of the Special Prosecutor, um, had gone ahead to freeze the accounts of the embattled former sanitation minister, Madame Cecilia Dapa. It says that the action was taken, of course, by the office. And although the OSP holds the authority to administratively freeze accounts linked to a person of interest, court approval is necessary to prolong the action. And so in the coming days, we're going to see them file a motion in the court of law um, to have that also um, agreed to. But as it, as it stands now, we're, we're told that sources suggest that the former minister's bank accounts contain millions in U.S. dollars and Ghana cities. And they also allegedly recovered some funds during a search of her residences. And it's two residences. So it's the Abilinkpe residence, and we're told there's one also in cantonments. And court documents reveal that the OSP has filed that motion to seize the funds discovered, uh, discovered during the residence search as well. Now, does the OSP really have the mandate to go ahead and freeze um, the accounts of anyone that they suspect? could have some money that was illegally acquired. Yes, when you look at the law, it gives you all the details. And so the OSP Act 2017, Act 959, um, Section 38, Clause 1, if we can just project that um, so we read and educate our viewers on, um, uh, of course, all the details regarding that. And so it says that, yes, the OSP shall freeze. And, um, well, so where the special prosecutor considers that freezing of property is necessary to facilitate an investigation or prosecution, the special prosecutor shall in writing direct the freezing of A, the property of a person or entity being investigated, or B, specified property held by a person or entity other than the person or entity being investigated or prosecuted, and two, the special prosecutor shall, within 14 days after the freezing of the property, apply to the court for a confirmation of the freezing. Then it proceeds in Section 39 of the same Act to say that an application for confirmation of a freezing order shall be made on notice to the respondents and shall be accompanied with an affidavit sworn to by the special prosecutor or an officer authorized in writing by the special prosecutor to swear the affidavit detailing the grounds for the confirmation. So what do you make of this? Of course, it proceeds in Section 40 as well to detail the reasons why the OSP um, or the court would go ahead to issue such an order. So it says, if the respondent is being investigated for corruption or corruption-related offenses, and of course, when it comes to the issue of Madame Cecilia Dapa and the investigation that's being conducted by the OSP, it says they are investigating her for corruption or corruption-related offenses. And two, the respondent is charged with corruption or a corruption-related offense. We don't know if that has been done yet. Three, there are reasonable grounds to believe that the property is tainted. Uh, four, the respondent derived benefits directly or indirectly from the alleged offense. And five, that there are reasonable grounds to believe that a confiscation order shall be made. You remember that when the Attorney General also released his advice, he asked that the prosecutors go ahead and also investigate the case of money laundering. So that could also tie into this conversation. So we want to find out from you what you make of, of all of this. And uh, I mean, it's a very dicey situation. Cookie is here, mm. and Roland is here, and they have the expert knowledge. <laughs> really? We don't on have the expert. legal we matters. Don't. I think that all of us uh, are making sure. Of course, that of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're all in, in the law school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. but yeah, we, yeah, we want to hear from you. So the phone lines are activated. Let us know what you make of this. Okay. Uh, I, I think interestingly, it's how the story seemed to have just gone to a certain trajectory from uh, an initial um, case, of course, we had, um, of course, published by the Chronicle um, just about two or three weeks ago. Mm. And four or five days later, how then the public speculation became what looks like the position of the Attorney General about how the money that was stolen for which, of course, uh, this prosecution of those um, who might have stolen the money seemed to belong to the, the brother who mm. has since passed. Mm. Subsequently, we also had the mother taking custody of that money and also haven't passed. And in the mix, mm -hmm. um, the ownership of the money was also alluded to some funeral donations, etc. I don't know. Um, what does it mean? Does it mean that what has been found in the account as well, even though she's entitled 
uh, to work and, and, yeah, and own that. Um, are also funeral donations as well. In what form were they lodged in the bank account in boxes? Because, you know, uh, the one million has been now divided into 800,000 in a box locked with padlock in some other narrations. So if it was locked in padlock, how did the thieves then go and steal it? Did they take the whole box? Did they open the padlock? You know, sometimes when you look at the logic that is associated with the, the way the money itself was kept in a safe, 800,000 locked with padlock, mm -hmm. and then the thieves, they, there was no narration per the facts of the case that they were able to... Break, um, break the padlock or anything. You know, anyway, so, there's a call on the line. Uh, oh, th there is. Yes, a, there okay. is. Aziz is calling us this morning. Bella, you want to take Aziz? Aziz, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Speak to us. What do you Thank make you of all much. of this? My name is Aziz Donla. I'm calling from Upper West West. A Aziz Donla, how are you? I'm fine, though. Mm. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm well. Okay. I told you to inform uh, Cookie that was crashing on her, but you didn't see it. Uh, please that you please are... talk to her. She's here. I'm sure she's wearing your favorite colors today. I didn't hear what cookie. he said. What did he, he say? Saying? He's crushing on you. Mrs. Hello. Donna. Please, anyway, carry on. Talk to her. As he's good morning. Call. Jesus Christ. This morning. Is, this is early morning. Um, so go cold. on. Go on with your As he's, what's your favorite color? Blue? Blue, right? My favorite color is blue and white. Ah. There you have it. Your queen mm -hmm. in your favorite colors. <laughs> Ghana is most beautiful. <laughs> Aziz, please, uh, your yeah. comments. <laughs> Thank ahead. you very much, Ro. Anyway, first of all, I want to show my displeasure with regard to this particular issue. If you look at the sense of money that we are talking about, Ro, like, look at the way the economy is, and look at the kind of struggle we are going through. And if OEP is saying that he's going to freeze the account, I think it's in the right direction. Mm. But come to think about it, Ru. one person thinks the money that is missing is $1.3 million. So if you come to what is, Apawes, if you come to what is, we have some communities like Bintengi. A road from Wa to Bulenge, from Bulenge to Kundugu, is very, very bad. Mm. The roads in Wa is are very bad. And if a minister can, be, can house such a money, what kind of wickedness is this? So I'm saying they shouldn't only treat the account, but all the houses that she's having, they should both in Accra all of them. and that of in Kumasi, should be searched. And I'm very sad that the president have already cleared her of any wrongdoing. Bro, look, Ghanaians are in this suffering. You come to the grassroots and see how people are suffering. Just a meal one day. If you go to Y East, Paralahe or any other places, or Logo, you people are suffering. Okay, as is end for us. So, Did we lose him? Or he ended? Oh. Anyway, as is. Thank mm. you. I have this one from um, Kwekueron who says that. Oh, okay. She, okay, he's talking about the. The, the HIV, HIV and the disclosure. Oh. Okay, Ukuero. we'll read it later then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll read it later. I mean, Ukuero, last for me, it's also about the independence of these institutions. And I'm taking that from the angle of the Attorney General and that statement that he put out. And I'm happy that even with that advice that he gave, that's try and investigate and find out if the 800 really belongs to the woman or not, the, you know, the prosecutor still came back with an amended charge sheet and still said 800,000 property yeah. of, yeah. 200,000 property of. Yeah. Imagine what would have happened if they had amended that as well and said, well... To go uh, with the narrative. Exactly. And does it then mean that they really know what they're doing and maybe the Attorney General is just trying to cover things up? We need to investigate all those things as well. But uh, we have another caller. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us, sir. What's your name? Prince Henry Kufuria. All right. Prince Henry, how are you doing? Yes, I'm very well. I'm Talk very to well. us. Uh, my plea is I'm um, asking the government to uh, kindly talk to uh, Cecilia Dapa. Since we have been borrowing around Cecilia Dapa, we just borrow, borrow some of her money. So that at least we can use to pay NAPCO trainees, mm -hmm. national service who have not been paid for some time now. Uh, the two boot workers who have been asked to go home without being paid to date. Because we search Gangantua money in. Account 
that the government is still suffering, going around borrowing. That is my only plea, asking Nana Dodan Kwakufadu, the President of the Republic, to just ask Cecilia Dapam, Mrs., to at least release or ease some of her money to us so that all some of the problems that we are facing in the country, this money, as we speak, since 2018, would you believe that the students who are writing basic BEC today, mm -hmm. those who are in class five classes, those are the people writing, they, they, they were not, you know, privy to uh, textbooks. Mm. As we speak, we don't have textbooks. Part of this money can be used to print textbooks if she can lend part of her money to her. Because it is disgusting and sad. And I pray that what the special prosecutor is doing, our clearing agent president will not clear this like part because we know what Nana Dodan Kwakufado can do in terms of clearing. So we are pleading on Nana Dodan Kwakufado should just allow the special prosecutor to work. If he refuses to do that the future is present, the future NDC government will prosecute Cecilia Dapa if found guilty. Thank you so much. And awesome morning to Th Thank Laura. you, but I just wanted okay. to ask you something quickly, if you don't mind. Um, you okay. know, when we saw the letter of the president accepting Madame Cecilia Dapa's resignation, there was a statement that he made, and the people who were saying that even that alone means that he's cleared her because he was expecting that she'll come out victorious and clean, etc. What do you make of that? And does it bother you that that statement was made? in that letter. Bella, do you remember the uh, uh, Australian visa uh, scandal? Mm. Nanado came to clear Pius in Kufudia here. So I'm not surprised that Nanado, that letter was a love letter to Cecilia Dapa and in future towards uh, the special prosecutor. So I expect people in the country, Occupy Ghana should be speaking against that letter. Where are they now? Why are they all mute? When it was your mama, people spoke about this thing. Why are they mute? Is your mama not human being? Why are people being hypocrite and hypocritical in, in, in terms of such matter? Do you have to sit down because it is Nanado? Please. Nanado mm. Dan for the president he's setting right. will come and hand us in the near future. All but right. I know that the special prosecutor will be alive, even though I know his mate is uh, the, 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 the current attorney general. He should do the needful. All or right. else, Oh, sorry to judge him. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. And you can also call as well. Let us know what you make of the latest developments with regards to Madame Cecilia Dapa having her assets frozen. Uh, in fact, two bank accounts um, frozen by the office of the special prosecutor. Well, that's quite interesting. A lot of people have got a lot to say about the ownership of the money. I think that because she's a politically exposed person, and, and, and that is why, as of right, uh, any public institution like the OSP should take interest in the matter. It's not because that we don't think that she can work hard uh, to own that money. Mm -hmm. If it is despite who reported um, that his money was stolen, I mean, nobody will bother, or you. Nobody will bother. Ah, That's no. a reality. <laughs> because you're, you're not... Well, you I, mean, I just want to know how he got it so that maybe that can but inspire you know what me. I, I, I get what he said. But <laughs> maybe it will inspire me to no, also yeah, want yes. to work you know, hard. You know, um, and many, people, many people then take us on because we say that we need to ensure that uh, we get to know the source of the money, yeah. you know. And I think that's why the debate about lifestyle audit of those who are appointed into public office is very important. It is. It's not because anybody is envious, etc. For example, Mo, Mo also wants to know, Mo Ajeman says, um, so who owns the money that was found in a house? Mm. Now, the question then, as he writes it, is on what basis is the OSP freezing her account if what the AG said is something to go by? Mm. The AG ha has the AG then um, dissociated himself from his position? You know, and these are key questions that anybody um, within the public space should, should be asking. And uh, they, they, they will be right, you know, in many respects. Hmm. Hmm. We have There's another call, call I yeah. think. Hello, Mohammed. Hello. good morning. Good morning. All right. Where are you calling from, please? Uh, I'm, I'm calling from Tamale. All right. Speak to us. Um, uh, I just wanted to uh, also add something into your discussion. Go ahead. Uh, it's like really the Minister of Sanitation was created to loot Ghana. Why do you say that? Yes. When you look at the, the ministry mm -hmm. and look at the kind of funds that they are allocating to that ministry and look at what is happening in Ghana when it comes to sanitation, you would end up by saying that the money was just, uh, the, the minister was just created to make sure that uh, MPP government is able to get some money in doing their private things. Mm. Because they are not using that particular money for anything. It's just like they are, they, are, they, are, 
So when I when I heard that that kind of money was found in that uh, ministry, uh, in that minister's house, I, I end up by saying, because I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm an environmental health uh, officer by myself. Mm. But you look at what is going on when you come to the district assemblies. Uh, you feel that nothing is happening when it comes to sanitation. In Ghana, we don't talk about distance. It's like we are, we are, we are, we are interested in talking about things that, that, that does not even impact on uh, Ghanaians. When you come to, to look at the sanitation situation at the district level and then the community, the villages that people go to, and the kind of suffering we as environmental health officers will go to before you get to say villages. And many of this nature is sitting down in some people's rooms, and they are using it to, to, to feed their family. So looking at the whole ministry, if we can all come out and then play that, they should just grab it. And then they make sure that every money that is found there is pushed into something better. Okay. They should scrap okay. the sanitation ministry. Scrap all right. Because really, it, it doesn't have any impact on, on, on Ghana. It, it, it's just in there to, to, to all right. Ghanaians.